What is going down, genitals? My name is the Raging Wade. Come on, like you don't know that already. Like I'm not awesome enough for you to remember the first time you laid your eyes on my sexy, sexy 1080p video with my even sexier Nick Swardson X voice. You know what I'm talking about? I sound kind of like Nick Swardson. For commentary-wise, like, if you had to allocate certain celebrities to certain commentators, I'd be like, my name is Terry and I'm fabulous! You know what I'm talking about? Reno 911, Nick Swardson. You fuck me sideways and call me Jeffrey. Anyways, today, as you can tell by the title of this video, is the dick pic fiasco. Need I say more? All right, I will. I'm just kidding. So, about two years ago, I was working at Walmart. Don't laugh. It is a perfectly fine, respectable, and upstanding establishment. Helped me pay my bills while I was in school, and I was uh, in an apartment on my own, for the most part. I say for the most part because I had a roommate, but he was a cocksucker and didn't pay for a lot of his shit, and he was never there. But, case in point, I worked at Walmart. In the automotive department. I, I wasn't even in the store for like half the time I worked there, all right? I was, I was changing tires and helping with oil changes and writing up some car work and breaking down pallets of like batteries and marine batteries and tires and shit. Yeah! Man work! Suck it. And there was a lovely young lady who I was sweet on, to put it that way, who worked up front. She was a cashier. And every day, I would conveniently just kind of shop around the clothing area from a distance, Friendly from afar, <laughs> until her line kind of got down because I was, I'm that creepy guy. I'm that creepy guy. You know, I, I read something on Twitter earlier. It was, um, it was from It's Macklemore. It's like a, a parody account. And it says, if it's meant to happen, it'll happen. And I was just like, dude, tell me about it. Chloroform ain't that expensive. Come on. Come on! It's not that bad. So, I mean, seriously, dude, they have Amazon sales on it all the time. And fuck, they have chloroform behind the counter at, like, CVS. Just go up and be like, what's going on, Bill? He's like, hello, sir, uh, may I help you? Do you have a prescription you need to fill? He's like, yes, I do. I have a pussy prescription that needs filling. Give me my chloroform, bitch! And then he'll hand you the bottle and a complimentary rag. And there you go. With the intake, boom, up 300% this in that first hour. Might not be the best pussy you can find in the world because you're at CVS, but uh, go across the street at McDonald's. Mm -hmm. I'm loving it. Anyways, what the fuck am I talking about? Ah, oh, Jesus, I need blinders or something. Verbal blinders? I don't know. So, I was sweet on this young lady, and I would always go through her line. And I had, a, I actually have a ridiculous shirt that says this now, but basically what I did is I would run up the line, I would have a, like a Mountain Dew or something, and I would put it down, and I would always say something stupid. And I, this one time I had balls, and I thought it was funny, so I had a Mountain Dew, and I had balls, like literally, like I had balls. You know what balls is? It's sort of like a fizzy water kind of club soda-y-ish thing. I, it wasn't good, I wanted to try it for comedic effect. I went and I put down balls, and then I put up a Mountain Dew, and said, Mountain Dew me please. And she just stopped and stared at me. And you could tell she was trying not to smile. But she was also trying not to reach across the counter and strangle me. She's a big girl, bro. She's a big girl. She kicked my ass. And I like it. So she, more or less, just kind of like giggled at it. And that is the way that uh, I slowly but surely got my in with this young lady. Not in a sexual way, but like I got I got her number eventually. For some reason, she likes a fat guy who walks up and says, Mountain Dew me, please. If you don't get it, you're stupid. And... Uh, <laughs> That was, that was that. So, we start texting, and a couple days later, she oh, starts sending me inbound. fairly provocative pictures of herself. She still has stuff on. Not a lot of stuff, but stuff nonetheless. You perverts. It was awesome. And she oh, just inbound. so happened to say, your turn, smiley face. And I was just like, sad face. So, uh, I got the lamps, I got all sorts of stuff going on, and I was just like, dude, let's be ballsy. Literally. So I got about a half chub going, not, not even half, like maybe like a quarter, 
or between a quarter and a third, like fifth chub. Wait, is that a fifth, or is it a uh between a quarter? No, that's two fifths. <laughs> Fuck math. Suck my dick. So fractions can suck a big fat hairy cock, bruh. So I get this magnificent dick pic. Now let me just say this right now. I'm 6'6", 297 pounds. I have a six inch dick. All right, I have an average size penis, but I am a I am a mastodon. I am I'm a behemoth. I am I'm a, I'm a monster. I'm a giant. I am a beast. We're winning this fight. In the bed. And when you have somebody as just big and as manly and as awesome as myself, you put a average size dick on there. It looks like a baby dick. So there's a lot of preparation that had to go in. So like I said, I was about two-fifths chub, and the, the, the my balls were nice and firm, but they weren't saggy, but they weren't like all shriveled up like I just got out of the pool or something. And, and, and my dick looked nice and flattering. And I sent it. And instead of sending it to Janae, I sent it to Jenny. Would you like to know who Jenny is? She was my college counselor! Excuse me. She was my counselor... And I never got a specific response from her. However, I, <laughs> I got an email and I got transferred to some douchebag named something Lynch. I don't know what the fuck his first name was. I never went to see him. But I Solid sent a picture of my penis with immaculate lighting, by the way. Two fifth chub. Nice firm testicles. To my college guidance counselor! There's a man with a gun over there Telling me I got to beware